hey, man, it's, it's a good day. We get to wrestle today. Let's make sure we're grateful for the opportunity to compete. Embrace that challenge, and, and, and we'll be where we need because we've been doing the work. We are the toughest conference out there, and a lot of people know who the big dogs are. In people's opinions right now, we are not those big dogs. New Wrestling is an underdog looking to change people's opinions of what we're about. 33, you got a lot of time, but let's finish on top. My dreams for this program go as big as you can get. I, I, I came here to win a national championship. Match pace, ready? Hit! Being the CEO of the team is the most difficult part of this job. As Soon as you pick the foot up, we're trying to finish quick. It's balancing out something that I love the most about coaching profession, and that's being in the trenches with your guys. Jab, step, foot up, there we go. And now having to take big picture view and how else can we grow this? Tuesday, Thursday this week? And do you just want to take it week by week based on how they compete tentatively? Monday morning, 10 a.m., I've got the entire crew, whether it's academics or athletic training or strength coach in, and they're telling me where each kid is. Anything else from your standpoint, Shaney? It's what the assistant coaches are doing, what dietitians are doing, what athletic trainers are doing, what I'm doing, strength conditioning. Everybody gets a piece of the puzzle. Heavies are both dinged up and we're not sure what's gonna happen. I hate to take one and the other one's dinged up and sore that day. Back in 2014, I brought the AD my plan, which primarily consisted of recruiting and development. The progression up. It's never as fast as anybody wants it to be because we all want it right now. When I first got here, you know, there was a, a string there of 10th place finishes in the conference. And then that first real recruiting class that I had, those guys helped us get to that top five, top six in the conference. And that really created the foundation for us to make another jump. Now when he does work down, look how he gets that foot up high quick. I don't believe in a bunch of rules. It's more philosophy based. I like to talk to our guys about the six to six life. What you do from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. is on you. You have to live an elite type of lifestyle. He settles, boom, yeah, you, you run right through him again. Confidence is built through preparation. Change the tie or move it or get back on your motion to where you can attack. We're gonna live it in here and out is why we're gonna be confident and be able to go compete well. I think it's by far the toughest sport in college. They've got to have all the power in the world, they've got to have all the endurance in the world, they've got to have all the strength in the world, and they've got to be able to sustain that. I can program for bar specific speed zones. If they're recovered, great, they might be able to add a little bit more weight to stay in that speed zone. If they are recovered not so great, then they might have to take some weight off to stay in that speed zone. Coleman showing his strength right here. Trying to complete it, he gets the two points. Wrestling is largely tied to their nutrition. Most of our guys, I teach them enough nutrition facts and science that they are making their own day-to-day -day life decisions. I take them to the grocery store and show them how to navigate the grocery store and what you should buy and what, like, how do you know which meat to choose? How do you know what a great cereal is? At the beginning of the year, we have our guys certify for the weight that they will compete at. In our program, we take it one step further. We look at their data three times a year so we can kind of see over the year how they're growing, how they're developing in the weight room. I'm able to help with our strength coach and work with our coaches on is to project like where they might be in the next two or three years and how we need to recruit. Some of our meals are training table style where they do go through the line and I'm there. Tuesday their box meals come and they do like the dinner which is completely portioned out to them specifically. Elaine's the goat. Let's go. We kind of change and adapt according to what they did in their workouts at this point to create that overall maintenance. Their day is so regimented and they do have a full plate. You do want to be 
sensitive to that. Ask me what's the hardest part? It's knowing how each individual athlete is doing, you know, like really doing. Maybe they've told a strength coach or one of my assistants, like, man, I'm struggling because this is going on in my life. That can be valuable. Yeah, yeah, see, there you go, there you go. When I talk to Tony, a lot of the times it's who was dialed in and ready to go this morning in the weight room, but also who maybe didn't look quite so good, so maybe he knows going in, okay, this guy might be going through a little something. Maybe I need to back off a little bit. I certainly don't want to get to the end and accomplish everything that we set out to do in terms of national championships or, or whatever and say, hey, we didn't enjoy this together. You know, I, I still want to look back and be like, yeah, we pushed and held accountable, but man, we felt good about what we did. I want to see you keeping them from cutting off. I want to see you dropping your hip and getting your weight on them. The number of people that I have now and dedicated to this program that we didn't have before has me really excited about what we're going to accomplish in the future. Good. Keep moving. Heavy snap. Yes. The way wrestling is structured, man, if you get the right group of guys and you're healthy and, and things go in the right direction for you that year, you can have a chance.